Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. We're on Vlogmas day eight. I feel like Vlogmas just started. How, how like it doesn't compute that we're only on that we're already on day eight. It's crazy. But welcome, you guys. It is a great day here. Um, I had plans of like getting up and getting a lot of housework done. And then um I've just been like in my robe, cozy, drinking my co my coffee and just chilling. Uh, and it's already 11 o'clock, so I got to get going. I did just sit down for the last hour and get the vlog uploaded for tomorrow, edited, uploaded it, all the uploaded it, all of the things. And um, so that's done for today. I'm enjoying editing the vlog so much. I love editing anyway, but I really love editing Vlogmas videos. They're just more fun to edit. You can put all the Christmas music in there and all that. So thank you guys for watching. Um... Big kids are at school, David's at work, me and Mark are just hanging out, and I need to get some housework done. That's the boring part of the day that I need to get done. I need to clean the bathrooms. I need to kind of just straighten up a little bit. Um, I've been putting it off because who likes to do that? Um, but I do need to get going with my day, but I wanted to just say hello to everybody. Thank you guys for being here. I have gotten so many messages and comments from you guys and from people I know in real life saying that they really are enjoying the vlogs. So thank you guys so much. That's so nice. I'm glad you're here. If you want to just real quick, make sure that you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe you. <coughs> And it really helps me out if you'll subscribe. And it also helps you out because you get to like have the videos sent right to your subscription feed and you don't have to go searching all over YouTube for me. Um, I do try to tag the videos pretty well though. So if you ever need to like search a video, search a recipe, you should be able to just type that what you're looking for into YouTube and usually it comes up. But anyway, um, Nothing else really to report here. We're kind of moving a little bit slow. We had so much fun at the Christmas party last night, but I don't know. I, all, all of us were just kind of dragging today, and uh, we have church tonight, so I need to kind of get a plan for dinner. I'm probably going to do some like easy like tacos or something before we leave for church, so I need to defrost that meat. Well, actually, I need to go do that right now. Um, but y'all come spend the day with us. We're going to have a great day. Glad you're here. Let's get going with the vlog. All right, you guys. So it is a couple hours later and I am freezing. I don't know why I'm so cold today. I just had to turn the heat on and I'm wearing a sweatshirt. But I just started thinking like, I don't want to clean the house. <laughs> so I like promised myself, hey, just straighten up a little bit. We'll push the deep cleaning till tomorrow. It'll be fine. And I came in here and me and Mark and Layla have been cuddling and watching um, Blaze Monster Machine. And just having, you know, a little chill time. And I think that's okay. You know, this holiday season is one of the busiest we've had. I mean, we have like three parties next week. It's been a busy week so far this week. And there's lots of stuff we're planning for like Christmas Eve service. Like and all these different things. Like there's just a lot of stuff not to mention. All the kids stuff at school. Mark's got Legos over there if you hear that. And you know, you have to squeeze in the moments for yourself and for your family when you can as to not get overwhelmed. And like I said, I just felt really tired today. So I took some time for myself. We cuddled, we chilled, and Mark's throwing Legos all over the floor. But, yeah, you're dumping them out. Yay. So he's going to go down for quiet time soon. It's a little after one. And when he does, I may lay down too. Like I haven't laid down and taken a nap on a weekday in a long time but I just feel like maybe laying down and reading or just kind of recharging a little bit because like I said life is crazy and you have to you know do that for yourself sometimes so I will clean tomorrow no big deal um I did straighten up the kitchen and a few other places but it's so loud in here I don't feel like doing anything else <laughs> so that is okay um, but anyway, I'll check in with you guys when the big kids get home and, uh, it's less loud. I don't know how you can play with Legos to this volume. He's basically beating them up. 
Okay. I'll see how that Not revelation, revolutionary, <laughs> revolutionary, whatever. It's not a groundbreaking idea, but I have been loving sugar-free Jello just as like a little treat with some Cool Whip or whipped cream on top. And if you buy it in the little cups, I told you guys this before. If you buy it in the little cups, you get like four packs of Jello for like three or four dollars. It's ridiculous. Even on sale, it's like two or two fifty. Um, is about the lowest I ever see it. These little boxes are like 80 cents. And what I do is all you do is mix it with a cup of boiling water, stir it around, let it dissolve, and then you put in a cup of cold water. I pour it into three servings. I think the box says four, um, but I do three servings. I just pour it into these little cups and then uh, stick it in the fridge and it's a really nice little treat and you know that's a healthier alternative so I just lay Mark down for a nap and I'm going to um, make this and then I'm going to take a little rest to either just read or maybe I'll take a nap I don't know I just feel like doing that and I will see you guys back in a little while it's quieter so I want to tell you guys that I was Mark has been in like rare form today I posted this on Facebook but um, I was telling him to clean up, and he said, stop, Mommy, stop. You need some coffee. That'll make you happy. <laughs> I was like, what? I guess I drink coffee a little too much. <laughs> See, things that will solve all of my problems, and he won't have to clean up anymore. Um, that cracked me up. He's so funny. But anyway, I'm making this Jello. Lucy actually really likes this, too. And like during the holidays, it feels like there's always like treats going around, um, you know, fudge and cookies and brownies and all that. And this is just a little bit, makes you feel not as blah after you eat it. So got it all mixed together. I haven't tried the Walmart peach. I really like the raspberry one. The strawberry is good. Raspberry and lime are my favorite, not mixed together. I guess you could but just this, you know, individual packs of raspberry and lime. But anyway, I'm going to try peach out and see how that goes. And I also mix up the mixture in a big measuring cup. So then I can just pour directly into the individual servings. And because if I just put this, just spit, if I just put this in my fridge, one time Nate um, accidentally drank some of it because he didn't know it wasn't fully set up he gagged and spit it everywhere so now so nobody thinks it's juice i just take do you guys even care this is like so boring i just take a ziploc bag like a sandwich bag and just cover the top or you could get some plastic wrap but i don't like fighting with the plastic wrap and i just do this and stick it in the fridge and then it'll last you know for several days until I get to it to eat it and put a little bit of cool up on it. It's really yummy. All right, you guys, it ended up taking like a 20 minute nap and it wasn't long enough. I don't know. All day I have just felt like not sick, not anything like that. Just completely run down. I don't know why. I just feel like really tired. I know probably why <laughs> That's, I've not been sleeping a whole lot. The last few nights I've been staying up late. We just like last night, I was really sleepy, but we stayed up to watch the Dancing with the Stars finale, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. Me and David love watching that show together, but we didn't get to bed till late, and then we've been getting up early for school. We've just had, you know, not a lot of sleeping going on, and I think it's all catching up with me. Like, I'm excited to go to church tonight, but also I'm not excited to get out of my very cozy, fleecy pants. And this sweatshirt. Like, so I was already looking at this sweatshirt with the stain on it, thinking, man, I wish I could wear this tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna have to change, especially since there's a stain on it. Um, but anyway, Lucy is home and she just took Mark outside to play. They love doing that. And she watches him so good. And I can see him right out the window. So I watch from the inside. Because it is. They're they're so funny though. They're like, it's not cold at all. Lucy was saying, he doesn't need a jacket. It's hot out here. So I look up the weather because I'm like, it feels cold to me, but I felt cold all day. So I look it up 
it's 48 degrees. <laughs> like, no, he has to wear like a hoodie or something. It's cold. But both of them are just so hot natured. So I know she has asked for a bike from Santa. And when she gets that bike, man, she's going to love being outside. And I can't wait to ride bikes with her and stuff. It'll be fun. But anyway, um, I am just dragging. So I don't know if I should make a cup of coffee or I didn't get to go to Panera today, which I'm sad about, but I just didn't want to leave the house. It's kind of far. So unless I'm already over there towards like church or the store or something, I don't really go, but I've missed my iced coffee today. So anyway, I'm just waiting on Nate and I heard from Lucy. So today was like started their Santa shop at school. Um, where you can send money and they have like little things the kids can shop for, for their parents and stuff. I've always liked supporting that. Every school we've been at has had some version or the other of that. And it's great because the kids can shop without us and pick out something for us or for their grandparents or whatever. And it's usually pretty cheap, um, like dollar stuff. Like it's really fun to just let them have a little bit of money and shop. And so, uh, Nate got to shop today. Lucy said hers isn't until like tomorrow or the next day. And she said that she was talking to his teacher and that, and I, so I wrote a little note on the, on the envelope of money and I told them, here's some money for Nate, but if he doesn't want to shop, it's okay. Here's a list of people he can shop for them or does not, doesn't have to shop for everybody. Just whatever y'all want to do, because there has been years that I've sent money and he has not been interested. So I'm like, don't force it. <laughs> you know, like it's okay if he doesn't want to, but if he does, here's money. And Lucy said that the teacher told her that he had a great time and he got something for everybody on his list. Y'all, I think this is the first year that I will have a present from Nate that no one in our family has helped him pick out. So I am pumped to see what it is. It's like, I just wonder what he picked out, you know? I don't know. Um, it'll be fun to see. So we usually open those on Christmas. So I'm not going to open it yet, but we'll put them underneath the tree. He's liable to walk in and tell us. You just never know. But she said his backpack was loaded with presents. So that makes me so happy. I just sent 20 bucks. Like it's usually really inexpensive stuff, but it just means the world when the kids get to pick it out and they are so excited about it and all that. Even Lucy like loves it. Um, I took her shopping for Nate and Mark. So she's already got them something, which of course she wants to buy something for, you know, me and daddy and the grandparents and all that. So it is so exciting. I put on this chapstick. It's like really tinted. I didn't realize how tinted it was. <laughs> I feel like I look like, woo. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to sit down and finish my, I've got some water over here. Just try to like wake up for a minute. I don't know. I just feel so sleepy. I just, well, this time of the day, if I'm tired, is a hard time of day to stay awake. I just feel very tired, but it's 3.45. Nate should be home soon. I've got meat that I'm going to cook here. I'm going to have like an early dinner uh, before church. Everybody's going to have baths. Like by the time the kids get home from school on Wednesday night, it's like, okay, we got to hurry up and do our homework. We got to hurry up and do baths. We got to hurry up and do dinner. And then we got to go to church. And anyway, it's not a lot of downtime, so I've really got to perk up. <laughs> so I will see you guys back a little bit. Right, you guys. So Mom, I'm going to do the advent calendar. Yeah. Nate is home. Mom, Nate started unwrapping all of the Santa's shop presents on the bus. So I need to rewrap a few, but that's okay. <laughs> I saw him dropping ribbon out of the bus before he stopped. We don't, we don't quite understand the unwrapping part. Okay, number eight. That one? Oh, that's a good size. But what's the What does it say? There's a surprise inside. There's a surprise inside? Cat for unified complexation. Why you get Let me see. Let me read it. Let me read it. Wait, there's a surprise. Blender. Oh, beauty oh, blender. A Karen nose. It yeah. does look like a Karen nose. Yeah, it Karen, says, A Karen nose is like, it's on the side. Like, oh, yeah. for unified complexion. A Karen nose is like, oh, yeah. What is that, Mark? It's like, 
Olaf carrot nose. Olaf's carrot nose. <laughs> That's all we are. <laughs> all right, you guys. So HelloFresh just got here. So I thought I'd show you guys the meals I picked out. I literally went and picked out the quickest meals they had. So um, I think my husband's getting tired of Asian bowls and tacos, but literally that's the easiest thing to make. Um, so I got two servings of this. It's one of our all time favorites. We get it every time I get it. Every time I see it, I get two portions, sweet chili beef and green bean bowls. So good. And I'm not sure you've ever had this citrus pork tacos with pickled onion and Southwest crema. So if you've never seen, this isn't sponsored, but I love HelloFresh. Everything comes packaged and labeled. We get the three meal, two person box. And then down here at the bottom, sandwiched between ice packs is your meat. I mean, this is fro like freezing cold. So we have two ground beefs and one ground pork. And then you just stick them in your fridge don't mind my messy fridge i'm about to show y'all and my messy house i'm kind of regretting not cleaning it earlier that's okay you just stick it in i need to find a place to put these all right i got them all in it's as easy as that and i'll just pull them out when i need them um okay just a second lucy and mark are in the shower so i'm gonna go help them they forgot their soap and I need to wash kids lunch boxes. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to make taco. We're having like taco bowls for dinner. Um, and then David can eat when he gets home and I need to get myself ready for church as well. So we'll see you guys uh, at dinner time. And then after church, we'll, kind of finish up the day together. All right, you guys. So I got ready for church. I went a real simple, a cozy sweater. I haven't actually worn this one yet this year, but I love the color of it. Um, so here is my picture of dinner. I put, did taco lettuce wraps, <laughs> lettuce wrap tacos. It was so good. So each lettuce little cup had ground beef, a little bit of cheese, some avocado, and some taco sauce, and it was so good. And then I did have some jello for a little treat after dessert or after my meal for dessert. And I really like the peach, but it's not as good as the raspberry or the lime, but it was still really good. And then Mark ate really good taco meat and beans. And then Lucy had a grilled cheese. She's the only one of mine that won't eat any kind of taco thing. <clears throat> and then Nate, I made him a quesadilla with the meat and the cheese. And he inhaled it. <laughs> I said, do you want another one? And he said, yes. And so he inhaled the second one. Um, so we are getting ready to go to church in the next about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, I just got to get my shoes on, get everybody else's shoes on. Everybody has been bathed and fed. And that is a win. Uh, David texted me and said he's going to be leading worship tonight. So that'll be awesome. Um, I love that he still gets to lead worship because... Sometimes because that is like his like passion. I mean, that's what he did for years was he was a worship leader. And so now being a campus pastor, you know, he doesn't, not always it's like guaranteed when we're looking at jobs. Like he's like, I hope I still get to lead worship some. And of course, like God uses them. <laughs> like he puts you there for a reason and um, all of his his uh, experience is for something, and so he does get to do it sometimes. So I'm excited for him, and we're about to head that way. So I got to make sure all the bags are packed to take with us. Um, and I will see you guys after church. We have a very quick Kroger pickup. It's going to be like thirty bucks worth of stuff, but originally seventy. I got it over half off because I just got the stuff that was on sale. So I'll show you that they already. They already emailed me though and said they were they were out of a couple things, so it's gonna be even smaller. I tried to get they had Oreo cookies and Nabisco honey grams or any other grams for one ninety nine, which is a good price because the off brand Oreos are more expensive than that. Um, so I got some for like dipping uh, for Christmas, and then Mark loves graham crackers, so I was gonna get some of those too, but they are out of the graham crackers, which is okay. 
Um, but anyway, I'll show you guys what I did get. Mostly it's like drinks for David and a couple of things that were on sale. So he was out of drinks like yesterday. I think he ran out and, um, I was going to Walmart to get something else. And he was like, Hey, we'll get see if the drinks are a good price at Walmart. Cause I'm out. I looked y'all Walmart had them for $8 a 12 pack. And I was like, Mm -mm, I can't do that. So I looked up the Kroger ad and I knew that today they were going to be on sale for $3.99. That's way better. Half off. That's, I mean, I cannot justify paying $8 for 12 pack. Still better than, eat, you know, drinking out, like going to get in a fast Diet Coke or whatever at a gas station or a fast food restaurant, but that's crazy. So I always buy my drinks like that at Kroger. That's usually, or like your local grocery store is usually the cheapest place. So when we get that, I'll show you the quick haul and we'll finish out the night. All right, you guys, we're back home and I am exhausted. <laughs> church was really, really good. And then after church, Dave is trying to like, you know, put stuff away and all this. And so I went to get the kids because it was getting late and trying to get them to the car. Mark is so mad now that it's cold outside. It's like messing up his routine. Normally on Wednesday nights, they get to play outside at the end of church. Well, because it's like freezing cold, they didn't go outside. So when I came to get him and he wasn't allowed to go outside and play. He lost his mind. 90% of it is because he is exhausted. <laughs> it's late. It's past his bedtime and he didn't take a nap today. He's not been taking naps. Like I can't remember the last time he actually took a nap. And so I had to like drag him to the car holding on to Nate. It was crazy. I feel like I deserve like... I don't know, treat a prize after that. Everybody that's in the lobby saw me dragging him. Um, and then holding on to Nate, who's just like, Nate's just all over the place in a parking lot. Like, you have to hold on to him. So, I had, anyway, I was trying to help me, but these boys are crazy. Um, so, Kroger did not happen because David said they called him at like five o'clock and said, is there any way you can come now and pick up your groceries? Because you're the last pickup we have today. Which is weird because they, they're supposed to stay. Like they do pickups till nine. But I guess they didn't have any pickups today. And he was like, no, I'm sorry, I can't. And then they called back while we were at church and said, if you can't, if um, if you don't call us back in the next like 30 minutes, like we're going to cancel your order. They said it nicer than that. But I told him like, it's okay. It was barely anything. So I'll either do another pickup tomorrow or I'll just go to Kroger tomorrow. No big deal. So that's why there's no haul. Um, I don't blame them. Like if you're paying someone to do the pickup and there's no pickup, like why are they just sitting around for us? Especially such a tiny order. If it was like a bunch of stuff, I would care more, but no big deal. We will get it tomorrow. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you all for being here. Um, I'm going to go put on my I have these like fleecy Christmas pajamas that are like Mickey Mouse print. They're my favorite. They're so comfortable. So I'm going to go put those on. It's freezing cold outside and just sit down and relax for a little while. So I love you all. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, we'll be back at it for another day of Vlogmas. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their 